Hello folks, Matthew Peterson here, Senior Trainer at Pragmatic Works. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the videos that we do here. Uh, and if you're interested in more kind of trainings that we offer, take a look at the description below. So what I want to bring you in this video, this is episode two of my OneNote series. So in my first episode, we talked about how do you create a OneNote? What is OneNote even used for? Uh, and in this episode, we're just going to go a little bit further and stay tuned for more videos as I break OneNote down uh, across multiple episodes. So in this one, what we want to do is learn about some of the basic features of inserting text, drawing within the OneNote, inserting audio files, video files, tables, and quite a bit more. Uh, so stay tuned to see how we can get this done. All right, so the first thing in here, I'm just in any OneNote notebook of your own, uh, and I'm in a section, and over here I've got my pages and I have my subpages. And the basic functionality of just adding text is just something simple, like we could go, um, I'll go to my course outline page here, uh, and agenda, I don't know, agenda for developing course. And then as I go down, like you'll see, we get bulleting options. So I can put in bullet, uh, we can say talk about labs, demonstrations, uh, Q and A, whatever it might be. So up here, you have all these options for formatting like you would see in your normal word programs. So we have the highlight option, we can change the text around. Uh, so basically anything you could do in Microsoft Word, you pretty much have that ability to get it done here as well. Uh, one of the other things is, is if you right click on any one of your pieces of text, you will see those options from your ribbon now located in a quick little bar here. Uh, so we're going to be talking about some of these other options here of like making this a tag and how we can do searching and all of that, but that's going to come in a later episode. So again, you got your basic text options, but one of the other things that we have inside of OneNote is the ability to draw, which is really wonderful, especially if you are on a tablet device uh, or you have a stylus uh, for your laptop, PC, etc. cetera. Uh, and so a few different things that we can do in here. One, you have all these different types of drawing features. So if I come up here and I hit the plus sign, these are your different pins. So you can go with the pencil, you can go with the pin or you can go with a highlighter. Uh, and I've got a few of these up here, as you can see. So my basic highlighter function here, I can come right on in, highlight through. Uh, I've got my pencil over here that, you know, draw whatever think we look looks good. Uh, you do have undo capabilities in OneNote like our other programs, so I can just undo that last change. And then finally, you've got your pin feature, which is gonna look, you know, just a little bit different here. Now these, when you open up your OneNote from the beginning, you're going to have some standard pens and pencils up here, uh, but you can add more to it. And then once you add one in, if you want to modify it, the way that that's done is if you hit the little drop down next to it, you can choose what do you want the thickness to be? What kind of pre-built out of the box color would you like? Or do you want to go and start looking for more colors as well? So very easy to take your pens, pencils, highlighters and modify them to your liking and then you can even drag the order of which ones you use kind of like the most common. So one of the other nice things that I liked about this when I was uh, a teacher is I could draw, I could write something. I have the worst handwriting. You'll, you're about to see that even though, uh, especially because I'm using a mouse here. So if I try to write my name here, so Matt, what we can do is up here, we can select the, basically the selection tool up here or the lasso tool. And so once I select that, I can now draw around a selected picture image that I have drawn myself. And then from right here, I can say, take this and move it from ink to text. And when I do that, pretty neat. We now have Matt here. Uh, there's some shapes that come pre-built in here as well, where you can draw and make your nice uh, shapes. I use this all the time for when I was doing graphing inside of the math classroom. So a few little things that we have uh, just right here in our draw ribbon. We're going to talk about this math one a little bit later when I start to, towards my later episodes, go more of the great features that come with like class OneNote notebooks. Now one of the other things we can do is we can insert images. So up here in the insert ribbon, if I want to insert an image, I can come right here over to pictures. So right up here at the top, I can insert a picture. Now when you insert a picture, you have different options. You can either choose from one of your files on your PC or laptop device. You can go from camera, so you can actually use the integrated camera of your 
uh, PC, your laptop, uh, and take a picture of yourself or whatever is happening. And then you can also go out and find an image from online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with an online picture here. So I'm going to come on over, click online. This is going to use the Bing search for images here. As you can see, it's powered by Bing. And then just type in something you want to see. So like uh, go with the type of dog I've got, a golden retriever here. We'll see what comes up. All right, I like that one right here. And then bingo. It's now added right on in to the actual page itself. And then you can do things like change the, the size, the location. Uh, so maybe up here, I want the picture to be first. Now what you'll notice is this text is in a text box or like a container. So if I take the container, once I get those four arrows, I can now move that to a different location. Now the one thing that does not move is the highlight itself. Uh, that's just another object, a layer on the page. But then you can take that object and then you can drag it over here as well if you would like to. And so I'm going to just take this picture and put it right up here, you know, at the top. Now one of the things that um, I did not really see natively inside of the OneNote program at first until um, I saw someone else's OneNote, one of my colleagues, uh, as I said, how are you seeing these little graphics next to your page names over here? Like, how is that done? Do I need to come over, right click and like add a graphic to it? Uh, and then they gave me a great trick, which I want to show you here. So it's kind of hidden, but if you come up to the upper right hand corner of your OneNote, and you go into your settings. So I just hit the three dots and now I'm gonna hit settings here. And in the settings, if you go over here to options, there's quite a few options to look at and we're gonna talk more about these options in future episodes. But the one that I wanna show you right here is this enable page previews. So right now it's off and it's off by default when you provision your OneNote. Uh, but if you turn this on, now notice how we're actually seeing the little preview of the text right here next to it. So some people will put in, um, they'll put in their own little graphics uh, rather than pictures. They'll also put little stickers in instead. And if you have that as the very first thing underneath, kind of a visual cue here. Uh, and you can also start to see the text. So it's gonna do the, the first image it sees and then the first text box with just a little bit of the information there from it. Now one of the other things that we can insert into our OneNote notebook is we can insert audio files. So if you come up to your insert ribbon and you choose audio, from here you will you would allow it to access your microphone and then from here you can start to record audio if you want to. Um, and so you can record, you can stop, you can play, you can bring in your own audio files as well as you can see right now it's recording me. So if I hit stop here that recording is now saved. And so this is really great again for when you have collaboration with your OneNote or you want to give yourself a quick note and you don't want to actually write it down. Uh, so we're going to learn about how we share OneNotes with others. Are they view only people? Can they collaborate with us? Uh, I use this feature a lot when I was a former teacher. So when I would put down questions of here's what I need you to answer, uh, I'd give them, you know, if I thought the question, maybe they need a few more details. I would say, hey, don't forget when doing this order of operations problem to show each and every step underneath. So it's another little feature that we have inside of OneNote. And the last one that we're going to wrap up for today in this episode is how you can insert videos for your users. So actually, there's two more things. One is a table. So let me come right over here. We go to insert table. We choose our table size. So maybe I want it to be two by three. And then maybe I want to put like uh, the name of the student maybe like their uh, favorite animal. And then I can just start, you know, logging this in. So I can say Jack is a dog. I can say Layla is a lizard. And then if I need more, I just hit return and we can add more rows to it. And if you right click on your table and go to your table settings, this is where you can insert rows above, delete your rows, delete columns. And then finally, you can just delete the table if you want to as well. And then you can format this in here as well. You can see your format options. And now the last thing that I'm gonna show here is how to insert a video. So right up here, and we're gonna talk about how to insert our own files in our next course or in our next episode. But if I wanna go with an online video, I can just select online video. And then from here, I can put in a website of where this one is at. So typically a lot of people love to use YouTube. So we love to use YouTube here as well. And then I'll hit okay. 
And what this does is one, it gives them a link to go out to the YouTube channel if they want to, but they can also just come right here and play it right from the beginning. And so as you can see, it'll start hey, to, everybody. it'll start to play here. And then you can make this um, video, they can go directly to it from YouTube outside. If I click here, I can make the video image larger inside of here as well. So again, this is episode two, putting in some of the basic things that you're probably gonna wanna use right off the rip when you start to use OneNote. Uh, in our next episode, we have a lot more features that we're gonna cover. So hopefully this was beneficial to you. If it was, make sure to like that video. Uh, and if there's anything that we can do to help partner with you for any type of training, from OneNote, Power BI, Power Apps, Azure, SQL, uh, we would love to partner with you. So again, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.